All right, it's going to be Tyroy and, and Twig. Twig. I've been right, commentating man. Twig. Uh, this is my third uh, third set I'm commentating of his. All right. Yeah, so, really solid player. So uh, yeah. So so here's the thing. Uh, Twig, you know, going on a monster run himself into top eight, upsetting Jimbo. I don't know who else he's beaten. Uh, it was Ar Arctis beat Tyroy. Just also relevant upset of the day. Oh my lord, that was just. That was that was something and a half. That was great. The whole venue popped off when you got that those up airs to the platform to the knee. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, so one thing, no idea Tyrek play inkling, uh, but he would obviously. You know what? You know, talking about the fact that he does play Joker, uh, it does make sense that he would be picking inkling for this matchup because Pikachu, Pikachu himself is a nuisance. <laughs> yeah, Tyroy likes good characters, and that's understandable. He's trying to be a good player. Personally, I, if your character is not holding you back, it, it ain't fun for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I feel you on that. Anyway, um, so right now they're doing a pretty even neutral right now. Only exchanging a few hits left and right. Tyroid yeah. fishing for the roller, not getting anything out of it, though. O almost identical percent here, so we'll see who can take the first stock. Yeah. One and thing that Twig's uh, doing really well is uh, pressuring with both Thunder Jolt and Quick Attack. Uh, quick Attack being one of the relatively few moves. Oh, oh he messed up Lord. his roller. Yeah, Ty execution Roy. mishap. Yeah, that's really rare coming from Tyroid. Maybe he's not used to playing Inkling, because I've never seen him play this character. Well, he, he, he probably knows what he's doing with this character. Yeah, I mean, it is Tyroid. And it is Inkling. And it is Inkling. <laughs> Inkling does a lot of things. Heck, heck she could do your taxes. <laughs> Have you seen her bear? Yeah, of course. It does everything. I think I think Inklings like has these really long lasting aerials and they're really strong for like edge guarding and just neutral, you know? The kill power on them, not so high, but that's okay because she has other things that kind of compensate for it more. Yeah, she The know. frame data on those aerials is really good. Anyway, Twig's gonna be the one taking the first stock. Only at at 142, he's gonna he's gonna have to play really patiently if he's gonna wanna wanna keep the extra credit going. Oh, all right. That's going to be a roller into up smash. Um, really no hopes of mashing out of there. Unless, yeah, you know. No, definitely not. Unless you can manage, like, 16 CPS. <laughs> and the thing is, I feel like when you play Inkling, you have to catch on to your opponent's habits on when they like to go for roller. Yeah, that, that's one of the more important things when it comes to playing as Inkling. Uh, it's, it's a lot of calling out your opponent's habits. And my personal general advice when fighting Inkling is jump a lot. You can't get rollered if you're, if you're jumping. I mean, yeah, you but, can you get can, anti -aired. but you can get a, a foot to your face. I, yeah, but I'd rather get anti-aired with a forward air that doesn't kill till 190 than, than rollered, right? So, yeah, it depends on the character you're playing. Also true. Because, you know, depending on the character, uh, cough, cough, Captain Falcon, you can just eat a fair and, uh... You just spot that that roller fearlessly. Oh, my lord. Yeah, no, Twig just, uh, just doing a really good job so far. I had no idea how he got to 71. But then again, Inkling's damage output is ridiculous. All right, getting the Booyah, not gonna, not gonna be the killing booyah. you. Oh, man, I had, I had a whole discussion the other day about what it's called. It, it's called the Booyah. I'll roll with it. I heard woo me, though. From who? Uh, <laughs> someone. <laughs> Anyway, bear out of shield, gonna be throwing Tyroid back off stage. All right, all right. So they're gonna be re okay. So just in this matchup, they're gonna be resetting neutral a lot because these are both characters that don't want to get stuck. Yes, like they're both combo heavy characters that both have very specific confirms, and they're looking for those confirms. That they're not gonna let their opponent get it. Yeah. So you're gonna see a lot of a lot of trades, a lot of trades left and right. So, oh my wow. lord, Twig about to eat that up smash, but not gonna work it out at all. Gonna have a dash attack. Yeah, Pikachu dash attack, uh, it's a good burst option that will just take those stocks at those crucial moments, especially if he hasn't been using it in neutral a lot. Because it is a slow option. Oh, oh my god. And you know, if you saw this whole stock, his shield was low. We didn't point it out, but his shield was, was low and he finally broke it, got that stock. Oh, really good conversions in coming from Twig. Wanting to get that spike, but Tyroid not going to let him have it. Inkling, extremely hard to get. Oh, my lord. Yeah, that's one of the very, very, not, very annoying things about Inkling. You cannot Gimper off stage for the love, you know, just, just for the, man, they're, they're, Inkling's good. Inkling's a really good character. Yeah, that, that's been known since day one. I know, but nobody talks about how <laughs> good she really is. Well, I don't. I also don't think she's like broken. I think like snake. She's top two. Has I think she's top two. Thing. But Twig's doing a really good job solidifying his lead. Tyroy at 150, struggling to get his footing. Is he gonna he, go for it? Nope. 
No, no, no. Uh, he's I'm way, not a Pikachu player. <laughs> he's way out of the up throw of Thunder confirmed. Percent. Yeah, yeah, I wouldn't know. He's just going to get a raw forward there. Instead. Yeah, that's going to be it. That, that game took five minutes, and honestly, I had no idea what was going on the entire time. Well, like you said, they, they were resetting a lot of neutral. They were looking for their specific confirms, and really just kind of the more patient player was able to take that one home. Yeah, so so here's the thing. Uh, England's good. <laughs> I think she's hey, top two. Hey. Pikachu is also really good, like really good. Yeah, but I don't, I don't think he's top two. He's uh, on, okay, okay. He's top ten on the sole fact that I do not think Pikachu has a losing matchup. Well, actually, Tyroid disagrees with you. He didn't want to play Inkling anymore. He's yeah, like, I, he's like, I, I think I, I can do better with this Joker. I mean, Tyroid has put a lot more time in the Joker in general. All right, Tyroid plays a lot of characters. I remember he was playing Pichu and Palutena when this game came out. Yeah, never saw his Wolf because Wolf was a, like a really meta pick. I did see his, I did see his Wolf at like House of Pain, and it did. Yeah, a Wolf, yeah. Well, okay, okay. Here's the thing about this Joker, though. He spent a lot of time in this, this character, uh, and he actually really enjoys Joker. He's just working out the kinks at the moment. Uh, is that th that's what he stated? And he's doing a really good job so far, applying pressure with the up throw up airs, and then just getting getting a lot of mileage just from the rainstorm bullets. Ooh. Yeah, that side be on Joker with our set. I mean, great oh space my lord! And here's one more thing: uh, Inkling can't can't kill, but Joker with our son definitely can. Joker, he's going to be getting that F set. That F set, she died at 80. Oh yeah. Joker on his own can't kill. He has to get our set. To really just kill off of a raw hit, but once he does, like every raw hit will kill. I mean, I, that's a good. That's when you know you have a good character. Yeah, you just gotta wait for it. And here's one thing about Tyro: he's really good at just waiting you out, especially with Rainstorm. He will abuse it. Is that what it's called? The bullet? Arcs? Yeah, <laughs> that, yeah. That's when, what when, I know that's what they <laughs> called, but yeah, when he when he does the bullet downwards, uh, that it's called Rainstorm. Yeah, maybe he's channeling Yabeo, you know, from Smash Four. Yeah, I mean, it does have very little end lag, so I don't, I don't doubt it. But Twig's having a really hard time just, just even finding his footing on Tyroy. All right, getting the e Han gonna be attacking on about thirteen percent over time, like, something like that. And it's more with our Sen, right? Yes, it does. Like Twenty-five. It, 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 yeah, it does like twenty-five over time, and I think it does like six raw. Yeah, and it has a lot of knockback too. Yeah, no, Twig's looking really desperate to find the kill. That's one issue that Pikachu does have, especially when you're feeling lost in neutral. Yeah, I mean, he's either got to go for that laggy dash attack or be at the right percent for uh, up throw up air. It can be hard for Pikachu. He's got, or he can get those gimps with uh, Thunder Jolt. But yeah, and that itself is really hard considering that Joker can mix up his recovery really well. And Tyroid just sitting pretty with all three stocks so far, not letting... Just not letting Twig hand get a footing. Oh, that's gonna be the first stock of the game. He will get that dash tech. So let's let's see what he can cook off. Hopefully he can get some kind of adaptation going. Ooh. Rebel's yeah. guard lasts forever, by the way. Yeah, um, yeah, the thing about Rebel's guard is that he can hold it for as long as he wants, but if he's holding it, that that itself is a commitment, especially if you catch on. Yeah, you can still always grab him, right? Yeah, you can always grab him, you can command grab him, or you know, if you know he's gonna hold it. Just charge it up. Just charge the smash attack. What's he gonna do? Hold, Nothing. Hold, hold it forever. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and with a bear, that's gonna be it. Wow, Tyroid just with a dominating game yeah, that, too. That was very convincing. Yeah, it makes you think that uh, makes you makes you almost think that uh, Inkling was a mistake. <laughs> you think Joker's better than Inkling? Uh, no. Joker's good though. Joker is good. And Top I, 10, maybe. I've heard Leo say, you know, Leo, the resident Joker. I've heard him say he really likes Joker. It got him to play Persona 5. He played Persona 5, really liked it, and he's like, wow, I'm really dedicated to this to character to made him, you know? Because he was kind of going back and forth with just characters. Yeah, with Lucina, Ike. Uh... He's just like, which character do I want to make top tier this month? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. And but oh, here we go. We're going with an aggressive start, just getting a bunch of conversions left and right. And here we go, Tyro resetting back to neutral, both holding shields and then backing off. Oh, okay, so stopping the quick attack with an AR. Yeah, they, they collide and I guess it just stops in place. Yeah, the thing, okay, so the thing about quick attack is that it extends uh, Pikachu's hurt box. So that entire zip that you see, that's, it's, it's all, a hurt that, box. that's all a hurt box. By the way, there was, <laughs> it can lead to some really weird jank. 
Yeah, I don't know definitely. if you've I don't know if you've ever seen it, especially when you go out and buy frame by frame. It, it just looks strange. Ooh. Oh, and that's one of the big weaknesses about our Sen recovery is that you know what people were saying. Oh, it's so good. He has iframes. His his recovery with grappling hook is probably better. Yeah, no, it, it's basically just a glorified uh, just a glorified dark pit and pit recovery. Yeah, and he actually moves pretty slowly. So timing and aerial or just something to intercept it is or not just very hard. Just even a long lasting hurt, a hitbox is gonna be enough. Yeah, he got like four there. Well, losing his double jump, now he's going to be trying to struggle, struggling to get back on stage, not having any trouble at all, actually. Uh, he, he did a good air dodge there. Yeah, but Twig right now with a sizable lead, not trying to overextend, not trying to be too aggressive, just tacking on the percent left Ooh. and right. Dash attack going to be enough to kill. kill. I was just going to say, how Pikachu has to work for his kills, and he got that dash attack, so... Let's see what he can do now. That's probably going to be the name of the game for the uh, for the rest of this for the rest of this because it's uh it's still it's best of three. It's quarters, and these two are playing a slow main, a slow game. So I don't think we'll see a go to time, but he he does not have. Oh to my lord! That string from Twig getting that bear train and converting it. Yeah, that was sick. He was at zero percent, so you know Pikachu will do Pikachu stuff. Oh my lord! The shield damage. Um, I have no idea what's that, what that's called. I know one is Tetracarn. It's Tetracarn and Makarakarn. Oh, that's, that's too much for me. <laughs> yeah, it literally sounds like a tongue twister, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Oh, he almost broke his shield with the, uh, bullet storm. What's it called? I'm sorry. Uh, Rain Storm. Yes. Yeah, no, but Tyra's been laying out a lot of shield pressure on the twig. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if he broke his shield again. Oh, the up smash on his shield. No. Twig you know, gonna be too short. Twig is shielding a lot. I'm surprised Tyroy isn't going for more grabs. Really good Rebel Scarred coming in from Tyroy. Oh, yep. Nair the down way. smash. Really good conversion coming in from Twig. Two stock lead over Tyroy. One He's, stock lead over Tyroy. <laughs> <laughs> it's still a lead nonetheless. If Twig continues to go on this slow game, this is doable. This is completely yeah, doable. It's, it's, it's an excellent lead. But then again, it's Joker, so the momentum can swing left or right. Ooh, that, that shield is just so small. This whole set. I, it's almost as if, like, like the shield is non-existent. I, I mean, I just want to see Tyroid maybe, like, at least go for more uh, grabs or finally it. get that shield break. Because, you know, pop, just pop that little bubble. It can only handle so... He, you know, Pikachu can only handle so much pressure there. Yeah, okay. Really good, uh, really good job coming from Tyroy, abusing Rebel's guard in order to get our send from Tweak just trying to apply safe pressure with Thunder Jolts. So far though, uh, Twig's percent's going up, Tyroy's staying about the same. So Tyroy might be working with something good here. Yeah, no, Tyroy's been playing a lot more patient now, just trying to avoid just getting extra damage tacked onto him. Yeah, Which is really good coming from Tyroy because it's like he really wants this. Of course you would, if you're you know if you're trying to be the best. <laughs> Going with the rain, so yeah, they're just dancing around each other right. Now. That was, his shield was so small. I think that poked. It did. Oh my lord, it's just, it's just a lot of whiffed moves left and right. I don't really know what to describe it as. We're sub three minutes now, by the way. Oh my god. We are. Yeah, these two are playing a slow-paced match. And yet... Yeah, just a, just a slow waltz. But they're moving well, you know, like, they're spacing well. It, it's it's just not a lot of stuff is yeah, there's racking up damage, exactly. Yeah, both, both characters... Uh, don't really deal that much damage to each other. Oh, then that's that, gonna be that, it. That Becker is just gonna slap no, him away. Now they're gonna have a same, like a one-stop game. You can hear the crowd cheering right now. Yeah, You're here for something else. I don't know. Oh, okay. Skull Bash not gonna be punished whatsoever. Rainstorm in the back air. Really good conversion coming from Tyroy. Yeah, neither are quite at kill percent yet, but they both need to build up just a little more before they can right, start right. looking you, for the you, you see what Tyroy is doing? So, now that Tyroy has the lead, Twig has no choice but to go on the offensive, and Tyroy is just content with running away. Well, I don't think this game is still really at risk of going to time. I don't think either of them is playing for a timeout just yet. No, give, it another, give it another 40 seconds, and then we'll, we might see it. Oh, but, a dash attack going to do a lot of knockback there. 
Oh, Ooh. Twig landing on stage, gonna be unscathed. Yes. Tyroid not Tyroid being able did to not catch it. that. Ooh. Oh my Killed god! Killed the skittle. Yeah, that that shield. I mean, yeah, that's oh my lord. That shield almost got popped. Both it, at 100, and, uh, both at 100 plus percent. Still even. It could go. Is that a thunder? Way. I don't know the percent. <laughs> Uh, it's also a really hard conversion. Yes, so, it is. I do know that. All right, another dash attack going to be throwing. So here's the stage. Thing. He might not get our. Oh, let Trump Bear is not going to be at that save. That will do it. Tyroy taking it two one over Twig. What a set! I kind of want to see the timeout. Why are timeouts hype and smash? Uh, it depends on the game.